In this video, I have some tips and tricks for working with multiple artboards in Adobe Illustrator. What I have here is a set of icons. Each one is grouped so they function as individual objects, which is important for this. And what I want to do is have an individual artboard sized for each one of these icons, rather than just having a single artboard for all of the icons. To edit artboards, you need to first click on the artboard tool, and that takes you into artboard editing mode. Here we can see here's artboard one. There's only one artboard in this file. And down in the artboards panel, I can see artboard one right here. And you'll find this panel in the window menu. You can create new artboards quickly by just double clicking or single clicking on your art. In this case, I'm going to go to the coffee cup here and double click. And what that does is it resizes artboard one to fit that art. So double clicking resizes the selected artboard and single clicking just creates new artboards to fit the art that you single click on. And again, each icon needs to be its own group. So Illustrator knows what art you're sizing to. Now, one thing that always bothers me when I'm working with multiple artboards is that the number of the artboard, which is here in the artboards panel on the left-hand column, does not match the name of the artboard. Here we have artboard one is artboard one, so that works. But then we've got two is, not, is called artboard four, three is named artboard five, four is named artboard six. What a pain, right? Does this bother you too? The names get out of order for various reasons that we just don't have control over. The names with the numbers are just generated automatically by Illustrator, so it's faster to bulk rename these. So here's how to do it. We're still in artboard editing mode, and I'm gonna hold down the shift key while clicking on one and then going up to the top and clicking on the other. So we have all the artboards selected now, and we can see that in the panel, and we can see that over here with that bounding shape around all of the artboards. And then I can go up to the top control bar where I have options when I'm working in artboard editing mode, including the name field. But first, if you don't have your control bar open, just go up to the window menu and there it is right there. You can turn it on. Now in the name field, I'm just gonna type icon and that will be like the prefix for the names here. And when I tap enter or return, we can see that they're all renamed icon and that automatic numbering that Illustrator adds to the names of the artboards now corresponds to the actual artboard number. So it's not confusing looking anymore. Now you could come in here and individually name these, which is a good practice sometimes. Like you might wanna double click on this name here and call this artboard strawberry and call this one tulip. And that would be probably the easiest thing to do. But the fastest thing to do is just name them all one thing and let Illustrator generate the names and the numbers will be in order again. Now, here's another tip. Sometimes I want to have the artboards in a different order. So let's say I want the rainbow to be up here where the coffee cup is. So this needs to be the first icon and then all the other icons will just sort of move over. Well, this is kind of a two-step process. So to begin with, I'm gonna take artboard seven, icon seven right here and select this and just move icon seven up to the first position here by using these arrows. You can move up and down. You could also do this by dragging, but I'm just click, click, clicking until the rainbow, which is named icon seven is now at the top and it's on artboard one. We can see that over in our document, but it doesn't move the artboards. To do that, we need to rearrange them. So let's come over here to the Rearrange Artboards button, click on this, and in the dialog box here, we can see I've got eight artboards. I've got the layout set to grid by row with four columns. All of this is good. I just wanna change the spacing to 100 points so the artboards won't be too close together. And then very importantly, you want to have move artwork with artboard checked. Otherwise, the art's just gonna stay in its place and the artboards will move around. So make sure you have this button checked and then click okay. And now artboard one is at the top left corner. 
with the rainbow on it, and the numbered artboards go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from left to right. So that's great. Visually, this is the order that I want these to be in. But once again, I've got the same problem here that I had before. Now the numbers are out of order. But we know how to fix that. So with the first one selected, hold shift, get the last one selected. Now they're all selected. And then I can come over here and type in the word icon once again, hit enter or return. And now the numbers are corresponding. And then I'll just click down here in the empty space to deselect. So to exit artboard editing mode, you can either click on the escape key on your keyboard or just select any other tool. And that takes you out of artboard editing mode. Now I have one last tip for you. And that is, I just don't like the fact that these are like just right on the edge there. I don't want anything to get cut off. I just want each one of these icons to be slightly smaller than their artboard. So to do this, I'm going to select all the icons here and then go up to the object menu, transform and transform each. In this panel, you can transform each one of these selected objects here by the reference point here. So currently this is set to the center. So all of these will scale from the center. I'm going to tap the arrow keys on my keyboard down from 100 to 99, 98. I think 96 is just enough to make sure we have just a tiny bit of margin on each artboard. And when you're doing this, make sure you lock those two together using this link icon so that the scaling is proportional. All right, so now that I've scaled them, I'll click OK. And now I have my icon set on custom sized artboards and the order in the artboards panel looks really nice and clean. These are the kind of tips I share constantly in my online learning community because learning Illustrator is not exactly easy, but it can be a lot of fun when you have courses and a path to follow along with live Zoom calls that keep you up to date on what's happening with Illustrator. And of course, a community of people who are learning along with you. So I hope you'll check it out at lauracoilcreative.com. And thank you for watching.